Hey everybody, it's Paul125, Roller Coaster Challenge, and we are here at Gillian's Wonderland over here at Ocean City, New Jersey. Now, it's Gillian's, not Gilligan's, all right? I know we've always messed that up in the past here when we talked about it, it is Gillian's. And this is our 21st park of the year, and this is our Explore video. So, if you're new to our Explore videos, you know what we do? We walk in there and we show you everything that these piers and parks have to do. Now, we just got done going to Steer Pier over in Atlantic City. So uh, this pier is completely on the land, but we're gonna go walk right down the middle and uh, you're gonna go right through the uh, castle area here, which seems to be a uh, theme here when you get to a lot of these parks. And the first thing you're gonna see when you come in here is uh, there's an arcade and there's also a ton of kids attractions. So this is all underneath the pavilion, which is great because uh, if it starts raining, you don't have to worry about it. So as soon as you come in uh, the center area here, you got these fire trucks, which are classic and adorable. And we're gonna walk around this kids section first and show you everything they have to offer. Now, like most New Jersey piers here, you can actually get a um, tickets or you can get a day long wristband. So you can walk in for free. Now, here's another one of these boat rides that are very popular. I always like the fact that there's actual water inside there. That's always a nice plus. And then when you come all the way over here towards the uh, far side, you've got their uh, carousel, which is four tickets. And once we find a booth, we're gonna let you uh, check out all the uh, prices and stuff like that. But so here it is. And the one positive about the carousel being indoors is you don't really have to worry about weather when it comes to it. So, but not as classic as a lot of these other ones, but uh, it is still a pretty nice uh, thing here. Now above here, you're gonna see a train. Now it looks like Thomas, but it's not Thomas people because they don't own the rights to Thomas. But so right here's the carousel to give you a perspective of where we are right now. And right here on the far side here is actually an airbrush tattoo place there. We got some interesting hats too. I like the uh, Morty and uh, things there. You got a Pikachu. So you got a lot of neat things right here. So now we're gonna walk around the other side and right, right in front of us is a ticket booth here by the carousel. So rides open from three o'clock to 9.30 every night. And you can actually load up on the fun here. You got $20, gives you 25 credits, 60 is 80, 125 gives you 185. So, all right, so we already showed you the boat. Now we're gonna wander over here and show you the crazy submarine. That's the crazy submarine right there. Barely, it almost hits the roof. That, uh, that barely fits in here. But you also got these little things that you see in front of uh, grocery stores in the old days. And over here is dune buggies, it looks like. And these are five credits, so gives you an idea of the pricing and stuff. But right there is dune buggies. The guy in the middle looks pretty good here. So we're right back at the fire trucks. Now that was what you do when you walk in and you go to the left. Now when you go to the right, you end up in the middle of an arcade uh, with so many different carnival rides here. You got Down the Clown, got Ski Ball, uh, you got the Claw Games and all that. Basketball hoops and come over here and here you can actually get the ride cards or the arcade cards So the ride cards are the ones that have Gilligan's Wonderland the play card is your arcade card So like a few other places you actually have two different uh, cards that you need to get And then here on the far end is 6th Street Pizza and Grill and over here you got an ice cream shop Let's go check out the ice cream shop quick but Here is 6th Street Pizza and Grill right inside there. It looks like it's air conditioned, so that's pretty nice. Uh, holiday Cart Coffee, right there is the train ride going by again, which goes all through the inner part here. And right here is Holiday Ice Cream there. You got floats for $7. Uh, cones, or uh, sprinkles, 50 cents. Uh, waffle cones are 50 cent extra. Wahoo Ice Cream and stuff. So, and then right here is the Holiday Coffee. So that's pretty much everything that's here uh, Frontier Express is the name of the train, uh, and that's how you get on the train right there. It's seven credits here for the rock wall. So we did the indoors, so now we're going to show you the rest of the park, the pier, and we're going to, of course, head over to the right because that's what we do. So now we're uh, indoors here, and once again here, uh, the giant wheel is closed today there, but all the other rides are open, and this is all tickets, no wristbands. So. So as soon as you come out here, and I'm going to adjust because we are now outside, not indoors. 
go ahead and make it a little bit darker so it's not blinding. But right here is a little frog ride. Very adorable. Very cute. It's right there. And then right here is their Wacky Worm. This is the only coaster they currently have at the park, and it's right in front. Uh, at one point, they used to have a few other ones because I got those credits years ago, but uh, those are now long gone. But that is the Wacky Worm. And then right here, hugging the edge of the pier, is actually a fun house, a traditional style fun house, and it's 60 credits. So um, they're pretty affordable, all the credits and stuff like that. Uh, you want to get the books, you know, the more you buy, the more you save kind of thing there. But yeah, this is a traditional one. You got that chute going down here. You got a rope ladder and you got that whole nine yards. So here comes the wacky worm. Like I said, there used to be other um, rides at this park, but they're they're all long gone here. So let's do a quick little wacky worm here. It's a basic bones wacky worm. Now over here is the glass house, which is basically a house of mirrors. Uh, you can get self trapped, but at least everybody can watch you get trapped. Oh, here goes the, uh, the wacky worm going through. Now we're about halfway done with this Explorer, and if you've been watching so far, that means you kind of like it. So why don't you let us know you like it by hitting that like button. Uh, it's a simple click for you, but it helps us out with the algorithm and uh, lets us know you want to keep us doing these Explorer videos. All right, so here is the uh, black and bad word we call these Alliance launchers because that's where I see a lot of them. Uh, that wacky one's a little uh, noisy. And I think it's, yeah, it's more than one cycle. I was about to say, that was one cycle. And here's the train. The train actually goes outside too. Uh, it goes pretty much all throughout the entire park. But yeah, this is the, uh, what do they call it here? They actually have names for these rides or no? No, it is just a, a you know, basically, you kind of feel like Superman when you're on that. Now this is a big, uh, big attraction here. It's a giant wheel, but it's not going today. And over here, they actually got super jump, they call it, where you basically jump up and down on a trampoline and see how high you can go. The safest tra trampoline ride you've ever seen. All right. Here goes that wacky worm one more time. Going down. It's wacky and it's a worm. All right. So that's on the uh, right-hand side there. There's an icy right there. It's always good to get an icy, but right in front of us is these uh, Zamperla balloons. You see these at a lot of parks. Uh, they, they spin too, so it's a double uh, nauseating ride. And when you come over here, you got yourself the flying Dumbos. Um, made famous at Disneyland, but every other park has kind of copied them now. So, but these are fun. You can actually troll them by going up and down. And then right by the trampoline is actually a classic fun slide with the uh, potato sack. So these always have the old potato sacks. And it looks like they're about to go. So we're, uh, we're getting going down here. Oh, she oh, a little bit early, but going down. There we go. Yeah, those are a lot of fun. And then right here is a flying trapeze right here in the middle. Um, and then finally over here, they actually got, it looks like, Actually, I've never seen a ride like this. If you know what kind of ride this is, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, this looks like a very interesting ride. So if you know the name of this, uh, please leave us in the comments. And over here is the traditional Himalaya. And give me a point of reference, right in there is the carousel. So we're right over here uh, by a Himalaya ride uh, called Music Express, which is the generic name for these guys. Uh, I do like the backdrop though. It's a little different. You got Tina Turner, you got uh, Elvis Presley and all that stuff here. But yeah, this is a traditional Himalaya type ride. And right there is the Thomas the Tank Engine knockoff. All right, so now we're on the left side. Right there is the flying uh, trapeze. And let me adjust this a little bit here because it is a very bright day here. But we wanna, we're gonna take you down these steps here and show you everything here. Now, I know in the past there used to be rides up here, but you can tell it's all blocked off. So uh, the only thing really up there looks like is a fr giant Frisbee and stuff. So that's kind of uh, interesting there. And then when you go down these steps here, also under here, there used to be a lot of uh, little kids attractions, but it looks like this whole section is uh, closed off too with some construction. Got some rides back there, as you can see. But so this section is all blocked off now too. So a lot of these parks are doing a lot of new things. And right here is the traditional tilt and whirl with the shells. Uh, remember there are a lot of them now that you don't actually don't see the shells. So it's nice to see the traditionals here, but really with the giant wheel, which is right there, out of commission, 
probably the marquee ride is going to be here at the back of the park called Canyon Tours, which is her log flume. Uh, I love a good log flume. Now this is a kind of a mellow one, but a log flume's a log flume. And this is actually the most expensive ride. It's actually uh, eight tickets. And actually I kind of like it underneath the, the boardwalk aspect. You actually got some theming. So that was always nice. And some Native American theming there. So basically you just go around the back and then you head up here. We're gonna watch this empty log go. And that's how you start off right here. You go around and you go up. So there goes the full one. But we should have the one coming down here. Now what I really like is the fact that they actually have plexiglass so people don't get wet before they're supposed to get wet. But you don't want people getting wet before they get wet, right? So that should be coming down in a second. Now I hope it's coming down because there was another boat. Here it comes. So that is their marquee ride, which is their uh, log flume. Canyon Tours, they call it, according to their uh, promotion right there. Let's check how that is right there. There, there we go. Now back here, we're on the back side of the Wonder Wheel. Uh, still, you see the track right now for the uh, train. So if you ever want to see the entire park from above, definitely take the, uh, the train that they have there. But over here, they have a Moby Dick, which is a uh, pretty much a uh, standard um, flying carpet, I used to call these. Because uh, that's what I've known it as, uh, Conestoga. But these are always a lot of fun. And there it gives you an idea of the log flume, too. So once again, this is, um, we're over in Ocean City. And the neat thing about Ocean City, uh, New Jersey, is uh, it kind of reminds me of how uh, Wildwood used to be in the past when you actually had every pier owned by somebody different. So here, this is actually owned um, you know, by one person. And then... On the other side of the park, you're going to see uh, explore for that soon. Is actually uh, Playland Castaway Cove, which is owned by somebody else. So it is on the New Jersey uh, Ocean City, uh, New Jersey boardwalk, but they're actually two different owners. And then right over here, you actually I like how they have the word Wonder on them. Uh, they got these bear rides. Uh, I see these a lot with dinosaurs, but same kind of concept. You spin around, and you have a lot of fun. So that's that. And then up on top there is the frisbee, but it looks like the frisbee area is completely blocked off. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, if you know, leave a comment. We're here to learn too. And then as we walk over this side here, by the other side of the Tilton World, uh, there is what I like to uh, see called a dark ride. And it's not just a clever name, it is actually what it is. It is a dark ride. And um, it's kind of a spooky little theme and stuff like that. Now, if you know the history of this dark ride, I actually don't know it offhand, uh, but there is actually movement in the windows. So that's kind of neat when you actually see some of the theming moving and stuff. So that is the last major attraction. Uh, well, there's a speedway here, um, which actually is kind of nicely themed. There you go. Nice little cars. And it looks like the uh, him, uh, the uh, Windseeker, uh, what is it called there? The Wave Swinger is going right now, the flying trapeze. But yeah, I like the dark ride here. So. If you got this far in the video, I got a couple questions for you. What's your favorite ride here at uh, Wonderland Pier, uh, Gillian's Wonderland Pier? And um, when was the last time you were here? And uh, the other question I have for you very simply is where do you go to eat when you're here? Um, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you got this far, that means you kind of like the video. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge, well, you know what? Subscribe would be a great idea. It's a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. We're hitting 50 parks this year, and we want to make sure you don't miss a thing. So once again, our creds never expire, just like our videos. And this is Paul with the 125 Roller Coaster Challenge. Can't wait to see you in the queue.